Hello everyone, my name is Nova, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I am back on Boardcraft. If you don't know what Boardcraft is, it is the main Minecraft series on my channel, which I build, survive, and explore in my vanilla world. And if you didn't see the last few episodes, we finished off building my music shop, which I will show you in a second. But first, let's go ahead and say hi to everyone. Hello, Polly. How are you doing today? Oh, thank you. A, a nice dog bark there for me. And let's go ahead and say hello to, to Sky and her family. Hello, Sky. Hello, Sky's family. And hello, Ricky's cat. Hope you're all doing well today. So yeah, in the, the past few episodes, we built that music shop, which you can just about see through this window there. Uh, I did finish off the, the shop, by the way, which I'm going to, to show you uh, right now. Uh, I did put all the, the signs and all the, the prices, like I said I would, inside of the, the shop. So let's quickly walk down here, and I will show you. And then we will get on to today's activities. So if you didn't see the last few episodes, I do recommend going and checking those out because it'll explain why there's a, a gigantic jukebox here. So you can see I've put the, the Broken Records music shop signs on top of here. We have all of the, the prices uh, around here. I will very quickly just go ahead and show you all of these. Uh, we have the price for the Ender Dragon on the stage. We have the drum kit. And finally, we have the, the sign here that says payments here. There we go. I think that was a, a pretty quick uh, demonstration of what we did outside of episode. But right then, let us go ahead and start today's activity. So, uh, as you may have noticed, I don't have a farm anymore. So today, what I'm going to be building is, are some greenhouses because the only farm I really have is this tiny little wheat patch here, which I used to, to get all of my, my bread that I eat in the episodes. But my farm that was there before is gone, and now it's replaced with a lighthouse. So I thought I'd build some greenhouses to kind of replace the area that the, the farm was in and kind of fill in this area more, seeing as there's not really much here. So uh, let's just go ahead and get started then uh, straight away uh i did forget to bring one or two things so let me very quickly run back home uh and i'll grab those so the greenhouses are they're gonna be they're not gonna be the most complicated build they're basically mainly going to be made out of glass and green clay that's because most greenhouses are made out of glass and they do have some like green um not scaffoldings uh but oh hi holly <laughs> hello holly uh you can actually join me today holly you're showing off the the wonderful new path here uh but most greenhouses usually they have like not scaffoldings but like green like placeholders to help keep the, the glass in place so that's what we're going to be building today as well as all the glass and then in the next episode we're going to be planting all of the the crops and all of the the stuff on top of the greenhouse that's going to, to be there so holly i need you to, to very quickly sit down here for me i know there's a skeleton under there i can hear it but that's not the, the focus of today's video so if you just wanted to scoot over for me here that would be very much uh, appreciated but right then let's go ahead and start building this so we're gonna use this lime terracotta as well as all of the glass that's in this uh shulker box here and we're gonna use this to, to build the um the, the yeah the entire inside of the or not the inside the entire outside of the lighthouse so let me just uh, extend the path here so that the doors kind of line up with the, the rest of the path luckily i have the silk touch pickaxe so we're never really wasting uh, any grass or anything uh when we're in board craft so uh, if I go ahead and start now, so there's going to be, oh, there's supposed to be an iron door here. Once again, let me very quickly run home and get an iron door. It's going to start off so that there's an iron door, and then when you walk inside, there's going to be a puddle of water. I was originally going to do, the, uh, do it so that there was, like, a path going around all of the crops. But I figured it took way too long, so I didn't want to, to do it in the end because it would also take up a lot of space, and I didn't want the, the greenhouses to take up too much space. Uh, that could be uh, solved if I just built like a really like one big greenhouse, but I don't know. I I, I kind of feel like having like three smaller greenhouses looks better uh, in my opinion. Uh, I if I did mention that there was going to be three greenhouses, we're building three today. That's why I have three doors. So there's going to be a door here, uh, and then let's go ahead and start building off of this one. So it's going to go three out on uh, on both sides. Then it's going to go up. Um, three like this and then these green things are going to follow it up as well but it, these are going to go up all the way into like um i think it's about here ish is where they're going to stop like kind of like right above the the door and then we just need to do the same uh, uh diagonal pattern that's on the other side on this side as well so let me just go ahead and uh, do this uh we just ne really need to place the glass there and there we go you can kind of see how it goes like diagonally up kind of like those um if you've ever seen those drawn houses like in cartoons and stuff how they they're just really pointed at the the top even though they're not necessarily like that in real life that's kind of how this uh, entire thing is uh looking here and then on the the side 
we're gonna go back uh uh, let me count this out. So from this block, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, I believe it is. I think we're going 13 back. Uh, so this should be big enough. And then we're going to do that same pattern, uh, just repeat it on, uh, on this side. So let me go ahead and do um, the glass there. And then, yeah, we just need to keep going diagonally up until we reach the, the middle point, which is here. And then we just need to, to go slowly down again so it is a a very simple build that we're that we're doing today but i do think it looks pretty cool I like the the glass and the the lime terracotta how they like really blend in together well i could have used the um, the lime terracotta glass but i thought having the the clear glass actually made it look better and uh, let me not waste this glass and let's break it with the shovel so we can actually get the the block back um i don't know i just thought having it with the clear glass look better so you can actually see more inside of the the building and you can see uh where all of the the crops are growing and i'm running a little bit low on my my health here i should probably eat something right then let's go ahead and build all on these sides here and then we can do the the top of them so the top of them is gonna be kind of weird so it's gonna go like uh there's glass on this layer here then it's gonna go uh terracotta then glass then terracotta and then of course glass on the, the top here so this is uh god that voice crack was very intense this is just to make it so that there's more light seeping through the, the top of it. Because if I just had it so the, the sides were the only open sides with all of the, the glass, then yeah, it would be kind of dark from the, the top. So I wanted to make it so that enough light was coming through so that the crops could grow and enough light so that I could actually see when, I was, uh, when I'm inside of there. So yeah, that's uh, how we're going to, to do this. And then we just need to do two more in that. I um, When I was building this uh, in a separate world, I, I realized that it just barely fits into this entire area i could have moved this one back but then it would be kind of off the path a bit so i made this connector there and then the the last greenhouse is going to be like right on the, the edge of that plot there so it's going to be very close to the library and the, the nether um room but it's okay i like to i like to see the areas looking more full than they, they they usually would because a lot of my my world has been looking really like empty so i like having this um this feel of of it looking more full because it just makes it I don't know makes you feel more homey uh, i suppose because my home is my home but this town is also my home if that makes sense so i like to to have more of a of a cozy feeling for my my town for me anyway because there's not many people that uh, can join in here so yeah i do like having it so that i feel more at home when i'm here but right then let's build this uh here and then we can go ahead and start on the, the next greenhouse which is going to be pretty much right next to it so there is going to be a barrier between all of the greenhouses, but it's not going to be like too big of a barrier. Essentially, there's going to be a two, like it's going to be like two blocks away. So if I, um, okay, so if I break this middle one here, essentially the greenhouses are going to be two blocks away from each other. Uh, they're just going to be separated by, by glass layers. So it's going to kind of go like that. And then this is where the, the next greenhouse will be. So let's just, uh, extend this all the, the way to this side. And then we can start on the, the second greenhouse. Let me very quickly just do that there. So I don't get uh, annoyed with the, the way the glass is. There we go. And you can see, we can just walk through here and this is where the, the next one is going to be so they're not very big greenhouses but they are very close together which kind of makes them uh, seem a little bit bigger than uh, than they actually are so let's build up on this side here and it's essentially just the um the, the same pattern that we did on that greenhouse uh, on this greenhouse so it's a lot of repetitive building but i do think this greenhouse design looks really really nice even though it is very simple so let me just build down here i should have just about enough glass and then we can do that there and then let's go ahead and fill all of this in here there we go and uh yeah let's also fill in the path before i get annoyed so should be there is where the the path should be uh actually this one does not have to be there uh but this does there we go and then the the, the door and the pressure pad there we go that is all looking fine and dandy and uh Yes, I know the barn is a bit noisy. I uh, I do have a lot of cows and a lot of sheep uh, back there. And uh, you can't really see them from here. But I do have a little chicken farm in the, the back as well. Uh, I like to, to farm the, the eggs. And uh, I like to shear all the wool for things that I'm building. This originally was going to, to be wool uh, as well. But I thought it looked better as the, the lime terracotta. So I, I just stuck with that. Uh, but yeah, I do have quite a, a lot of, of uh, farm animals in that barn there. Just so I can use them all. I never really 
really kill the animals. I just I, I end up eating bread in the, the videos for the most part because one, I think it's I don't know healthier to eat bread in Minecraft. I don't know. I think it's better to, to eat bread in Minecraft than actually killing the, the animals. And also because I don't really get much meat from them anyway when I kill them. So like it doesn't necessarily matter like if they're there or not. Like I need them. Obviously, I need the cows for milk and stuff. But like I don't know. I don't necessarily have a huge like demand for them uh, seeing as I don't use them for like food or, or anything uh, So right then let's do this little pointed roof here We just need to go one more block on top and then of course we just need to, to go one down uh, So yeah, it is a lot of you know long repetitive building, but it's okay So uh, we should need to go one more down and then bum 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 There we go now We just need to fill in all of this uh, this glass here uh, and then we should be done for uh, for this one luckily I've been um Collecting loads of glass outside of episode like I just went there's two deserts There's one in front of my town and there's one on the side of my town over there where the end portal is So I can really just like walk to there like just swing my shovel a few times and I instantly have like Five stacks of, uh, of glass so it's not that difficult to, to get glass But it is like painstakingly long to wait for it all to dismelt because furnaces are so slow That's something I wish they would add in the, the new updates They'd make furnaces smelt things really fast because I feel like if you're standing next to it or maybe if you give it like a special like ingredient or something it should be able to like smelt faster but nope that's not the, the case in minecraft you just have to wait uh for in every individual block to to smell and uh you have to keep replacing the coal and i don't know it just takes forever to smell and i wish they would change that but i guess since i'm not a developer i can't really uh do that but right then we should be pretty much done with this one now oh i only needed two more come on game i only needed two more lime terror goddess let's place that there and then we can just do the the glass on the the back here and there will also be doors <gasps> oh dear that was close that was very close i don't have my armor on me still so that was a that was a very close call with that other creeper there maybe i should put some torches inside just to, to make sure it is a little bit more lit up i am gonna have to put some like floating uh torches inside of it as well so it's a bit more lit up but uh, it's fine so right then let's go ahead and build the, uh this last one here we just need to do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side just connect the the two uh greenhouses here with the the inter not the inter um the overlaying like glass thing the little glass tunnel there we go if i could actually speak properly the little glass tunnel that uh, connects them so we just need to to build all of this out here and then in the next episode i'm gonna go ahead and plant all of the the crops because i don't want to do that in this episode because pretty much all of this is being <laughs> this entire episode is just me building this uh, entire thing and if i just uh spent like the rest of all the whoa Am I even speaking English at the moment? If I just spent the rest of the episode for 30 minutes, you know, building or planting crops, then yeah, I would get uh, pretty repetitive and I don't want to, to do that. So let's uh, put some birch there. We need some dark oak there and the pressure pad there. Now we just need to, to do the same thing on the other side. And then we should hopefully be done soon because let's be honest, these greenhouses don't look the best. It's a lot of repetitive building and I'm getting kind of tired. So let's build this down here oh oh i placed the glass in the wrong place that's annoying we just need to do one there and then of course just another diagonal all of the the way down there we go hopefully we don't have any more running with uh with mobs in today's episode that would not be in a be enjoyable i don't want to, to have that again and you can see how it just about doesn't reach the nether room i had to make sure this fit in perfectly here because if it even went like one block over it'd be way too close to that and seeing as it's only two blocks i think it's fine because it's not you know directly touching it so i think it's okay uh we should hopefully have enough glass to, to finish this entire thing off and if not then i'm very quickly gonna have to, to run to the desert and go ahead and get some from there but i do think uh we should have uh, way more uh than enough to be able to, to complete this so let's uh connect that there and then just do all of the the glass on the the sides here so there we go we pretty much got a whole load of this done just very quickly uh, in one episode i didn't think we could actually would get uh, all of this done but we actually managed to do it which is pretty good i'm never usually this quick at building i usually whenever i need someone to to help me build that's when i asked someone to to help but 
Uh, usually I'm building alone and I build quite slow. Like with the floors, took me like what, like three episodes or something. So yeah, I'm glad I managed to get this done. Seeing, even though it was a simple build, I am glad that I managed to get it done this quick. So yeah, we just need to fill in all of this roof here and then we should be done for these. And uh, I haven't spoken much about what's going to be on the top. So on the top, we're gonna have daylight sensors. And I was thinking about adding these, uh, these lights on the top as well. So that when it turned nighttime, the daylight sensors were triggered and uh, it lit up the, the lamps. I thought it was a cool idea. My, my friend Nathan actually gave me that uh, idea. So props to Nathan. Uh, I might do that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure yet. Or I might just add like floating torches or something. Haven't really decided yet. I am leaning more towards the, the side of doing the daylight sensors. But of course, uh, all of that could uh, can change within the, the next few minutes uh, if I just make up my mind. So this is the last layer of the, the roof here. Then we just need to, to go ahead and oh god I placed down the glass in the wrong place again uh, but yeah then we just need to go ahead and fill in all of the glass above the, the door here like this and if we do it there and there as well there we go now if we go to the back side all we need to do is fill in this back side here and then we should be done for today's episode so i hope you all enjoyed it i don't know exactly how long it was i just wanted to build these in an episode really quickly because i don't have a, a farm and i really need to, to get a whole bunch of food soon but yeah these are going to be the new greenhouses i'm going to eventually extend the path actually i could probably do that now i was going to say i could eventually um extend the path but i'm going to I'm just going to dig this out now uh, just so you can kind of see where the path is going to be. So the way I just do paths is I just dig down and then I place all of the, the blocks afterwards because it's way simpler to, to do that. So let's dig all of this out here uh, and then let's very quickly just fill in all of this with this um, wood here. But yeah, you can kind of see how the greenhouses are going to look. I think they look pretty cool. I think they're a nice addition to the world. There's um, there's not many buildings here that are green besides the, the floor. So I do think having another green building is uh really good uh considering a lot of the buildings here use the the color red and i didn't want to, to be like over repetitive and start using the the color red for everything so yeah i'm glad we have um a nice different looking uh, building for once uh, there's a lot of generic looking buildings so i'm glad we have some uh some variety here but yeah as i said that is uh, going to be the end of the greenhouses built and it's also going to be the end of the episode so i hope you all enjoyed it in the next episode i will be placing down all of the the crops i will put the daylight sensors on top and then we will be done with the, the greenhouses but for now thank you for all for watching thank you holly for joining me the fan art of the day is on the the screen now thank you brick steak for making that fan art and i will see you all later bye